Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a hair color change effect in Adobe Photoshop. It should work in all versions of Photoshop, but um, if it doesn't work on any other versions, please just comment below and tell me. I'm currently using CS4. I'm pretty sure it can work on CS3. And, uh, well, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is grab your image and uh, go to the layers panel and you have to right click and select duplicate layer. Hit OK and uh, you have two copies of the picture. Now you're going to want to create a new layer by going down here and selecting this square icon thing with a little flap that says create new layer and just click on it. And make sure your foreground color is white. If it's not white, just click on that square right there and select white. Hit OK. Now select your brush tool. Make sure your brush size is 13, but you can change it. What you're going to do is start coloring the person's hair. This will take a while, I know, um, but uh, it's worth it. You're going to need to color in the inside of her hair or his hair. Try not to go outside of her hair, just stay within the hair area. Uh, I'm not going to do it the whole time, we're not going to record it, so uh, I'll pause the video and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done coloring the hair. And when you're done, it should look something like this. It's okay if you have a little bit, just try to cover up all the hairs. Try to make it as good as you can. And so when you're done coloring in the hair, go to your, go here to the layers panel and change normal to soft light. Now to change the color, you go to image, adjustments, and uh, hue and saturation. Or control U, whichever you prefer. And from here you can just, you know, change the colors. And uh, by just moving it around, you can make the hair darker, as you can see. Very good uh, technique. It, it fills up all the hair and everything. It looks nice. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Please comment below if you have any problems or questions. I'll be sure to help you. And uh, I'll see you later.